Hey, Riley, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, firstly, just over the weekend, um, a loss to Melbourne victory. How's the team kind of um, reacted to, to that match and responded to that match? Yeah, I think um, we can all agree on the fact that the standards for that game, uh, especially the first half, weren't um, weren't up to par to what we, we hold ourselves accountable to. So there's a bit of frustration and disappointment on our end um, in regards to that. But I think we can take a lot of hope and a lot of like, optimism and positivity from the fact that the second half was a lot more powerful, a lot more uh, dominant. And I think we can agree with that if we take that performance, that fearlessness, that tenacious um, ability that we showed, that we will be able to go forward um, and apply that to Perth. So although it's disappointing, I think we're optimistic that we can perform at that level. Um, you now we just got to do it right from, the, right from the gate. Yeah, I guess um, two players came off and, and off the bench and scored at, at the bitter end. Is, I guess this is a positive, right? And, and how do you start scoring from the get-go? Yeah, I think obviously we're really excited to have Mariana back. She's our lead goal scorer and she's definitely in form right now. So to have her back from injury is exciting. Um, and it goes to show that when she comes off the bench, she can contribute. So hopefully we can have her from the beginning of games from now on out and hopefully she stays healthy. But I think it's a mentality thing. I think we've discussed that in-house that in order to score goals, you want to you gotta want to score goals and you got to have that again, that tenacious ability to go forward to the goal and, and be in the box and, and want to get your body on it, whether it's foot, a toe, a head, a chest, whatever it might be. And I think we've really addressed that in this group. And it's not a lack of desire. It's just a it's just a moment. And I can't really explain it. But yeah, scoring goals early, making our mark early, but not settling into the game is what's really important. I think we just have to have that ability to go forward and be ruthless and, and angry. And we want more. And you want to get that like, you want to score the goals. You want to win the game. We got to be ruthless in both boxes, not only in the attacking box, but also defending. Like our bodies are on the line and our lights on the line. Yeah, just on the defending, I think uh, at least three of the goals came from either a corner, or the goals you conceded came from either a corner or, or a cross into the box. Is how do you, what do you make of that? Um, it, it looked like you know there are a few players unmarked in the box. Is this something that that the teams kind of addressed? Yeah, it's definitely something that we did not let slide. Um, we addressed it in-house right away. And it's hard when you're in the, the flow of the game and you're noticing things and you know players have certain roles and not, it's really hard to adjust when you're being told from the sidelines what your role is and then a player telling you to go here. So I think we just discussed that, look, like we each get put in a position for a reason. We have to trust each other. Um, we have to trust who's in that role. We have to trust that that person will get the job done no matter what. And, and it doesn't mean that we have to overcompensate. And I know that's something that I've been doing a lot is overcompensating. You'll see that I was pulled to my near post a lot, whether or not I should have been um, is it's up to debate. But if I were to stay home, would I have been able to affect some of the goals? We don't know. But it's just that uh, it's just that confidence that we have to have with people around us and like knowing your role. It definitely won't be something that we will see repeating. We will not be conceding on set pieces and uh, on crosses and in the future. I can promise you that. <laughs> um, just on, obviously, that's another loss on the road. Is You've only had one win this season over in Australia. Um, have you guys amongst the players talked about kind of the rut you're in and, and trying to get a win over there? Um. Yeah, I guess it's no secret that we haven't won on the road since, what was it? Jeez, was it Central Coast? Maybe even longer? Yeah, so. um, it's no secret. And, and it is something that we do struggle with and, and trying to find the answer to why um, that might be the case. But I can say to you, like, if we go in with our, our mindset to win, we go in every single game with the idea that we're going to be relentless, we're going to be ruthless, we're going to play our style of football, we're going to play small ball, we're going to trust each other. What happens after that is kind of out of our control as long as we can go in and say that we've given 100% um, and we fought to the nail to get to the result that we want. And I think that's just like the mentality that we have to keep having forward. It's not like we want to lose on the road. It's, it's definitely not something that we're expecting. It's not something that we're planning for. But, um, but yeah, it's definitely no secret in house. And I think at the end of the day, like, we're doing everything we can to kind of prevent that result from happening. And um, I think we're very, very hopeful for the Perth game. And I know we've said that week in, week out on the road, but like this is a pivotal point in our season right now. Um, it's a do or die moment. So 
you can expect that everything's going to be thrown at this game uh, and that we're going to be ready for, for a result. Uh, what, how's Paul addressing kind of the, the run of games you've had over there? Obviously, you guys had a really good start to your season. The playoffs aren't far away. What's his message to be like, all right, girls, you know, we've got to pick our form back up? I think it's not necessarily our form because I mean, you can argue that it is our form, but it's not necessarily the fact that we're focusing on our form. It's focusing on our goals and, and, and what we want to do and what we are capable of. Capable. So, like, if we want to play that small ball style, we got to stick to that that uh, that process. We got to stick to what we're putting onto the pitch in training and bring that into the games. And, and the message is, it's not out of reach. Yes, it's becoming a little bit more challenging. Yes, we're going to have to depend on other people. But at the end of the day, we control our destiny. So if we go out and put um, everything that we've worked on, all the ingredients to the recipe onto the pitch, at the end of the day, we know that a result will come from it. Um, and we do see that when we play with fearlessness, when we play with no, like, like with pure aggression and no fear, like we can, can like we can score goals back to back to back. And it's just bringing that mentality into every single game from the start. Is the team confident they can get into the playoffs with the six games remaining? Yeah, I can promise you that every single person in this team is very confident that we can get to the playoffs still. Um, and I think that's what's most important. We are all on the same page. We're all beaten to the same same rhythm. Um, it's just, yeah, putting putting the work that we're doing on the pitch and into the games. Just lastly from me, um, Perth, last time you played them was in Auckland, um, home away from home, I guess. Um, you, you both were near the top of the table at the time. You've both kind of come down. Um, is that a, a good thing, I guess? And and is the game plan different this time around? Uh, I wouldn't say the, the the way we are sitting on the table, respectively to both teams, uh, has any effect. I think it's just it's another game in the A League, and it goes to show how competitive the A League really is. To to say that we were both at the top of the table at one point, and now we're both fighting for a spot in the playoffs is just a testament to how competitive and how like unknown this league can be like there's so many upsets every week um but yeah the strategy going into the game doesn't change from what we work on in-house we're not going to change our ways just because um necessarily like we beat them once we're not going to change anything that we've been doing and i think we're just going to say to say to our practice say to our our efforts and, and at the end of the day as long as we can contribute to that i am certain that we'll get a result a couple yeah. from me your first distance derby experience over in western australia how was the trip and do you think the extra days spent over there will help you acclimatize to perth yeah 100 percent. i think being uh, in melbourne first and then getting a, a, like used to a two-hour time difference and then moving across to Perth um, and adding an extra three hours from New Zealand has definitely helped us. And although the travel is long, breaking it up that way has been very helpful. Um, we had some, we have an off day to kind of regenerate, get our minds kind of relaxed and switch back on to, yeah, the game didn't go the way we wanted, but now we have to, to focus on the next task. So I feel like the travel, although long, hasn't really affected much. And I think everyone's really hopeful. And, and that time together is really important. We're all going through the same thing right now. So it's helpful to to be together, spend that time together, and, yeah, move forward. And what's the weather been like? I know for the men a couple of weeks ago, it was incredibly hot, a bit like a sauna, they said, when they got off the, the plane. What's it been like for the team? To be fair, like, in my opinion, it's not been too hot. Um, I mean, it's hotter than New Zealand, but it's not sweltering. We're not in a sauna. Um, I can promise you that. It's the, the 27 to 30 range with a nice, like, breeze. I sound like a news reporter right now, but it's just how it feels. Like, the breeze is cool and it is refreshing, so that definitely helps cool it down. But the sun is strong um, and you can't hide from that. So it's definitely going to be a couple interesting practices, but I think we're fortunate to be playing in the evening, which has been really nice. And just finally, how have you found your your I suppose, battle for the goalkeeper spot with with Bree Edwards, and what's that relationship like on the training pitch? Yeah, no, Bree and I get on really well. I think we both want the best from each other, and I think we both want the standards to be high uh, in our training environment. So we're always pushing for more. We're always holding each other to a standard, and I think it's really exciting. It's always good as a number one to have a very strong number two. And I think that's what's really good for this club is that no matter who goes in goal, we know that the get, the job will get done. Um, and we saw that and it's a testament to her for being patient uh, and believing in herself. But at the end of the day, like 
it's not an easy role to be in for herself. And and I know for me, it's, it's hard to accommodate, I guess, sometimes when you, you really just want to, you want to be friends with people, but at the end of the day, it's, it's challenging, right? You're fighting for the same position and that's the, the ruthlessness of being, about being a goalkeeper. But I think we've made the best of it this season and we help each other. No matter what, we know whoever's in goal will get the job done and we hype each other up and, and we keep each other going.